Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomo's Biology and in this video we want to talk about uh, unit 4 and how you should prepare unit 4. You know one thing I should clear very fast uh, before even talking about unit 4. Unit 4 is the biggest unit of CSI MX syllabus because in unit 4 we have cell signaling pathways, we have cancer biology, we have immunology and we have host pathogen interaction. So four very big topics we have. Many students always ask me like how should we prepare unit 4. Now one thing as the unit 4 is big, the other thing they ask plenty of questions from unit 4. There are a huge number of questions asked from unit 4 because there are more topics in unit 4. So if there are four major topics as I told you, so from each topic if they ask 2 to 3 questions, so it will be like 8 to 12 questions from unit 4 itself in part C think about it it's total 75 questions and among 75 is 8 to 12 question from unit uh, 4 itself okay so uh, what you should do now first things first cell signaling although is very important to understand cancer biology very well but they don't ask any direct question from cell signaling in CSIMET exam most of the cell signaling question that they ask they are related to cancer biology okay so you need to uh, understand cancer biology very well read cancer biology in detail from the basics you can study it from the Bruce Alberts uh, cell biology book okay uh, cell biology book Bruce Alberts you can study from there all Lodish you can study from that book as well so from there you should study the cancer biology very well and two things of cancer biology is very very important one is the cell signaling pathway that leads to cancer second thing are the name of the different uh, genes that are related to cancer either the genes can be proto-oncogenes or oncogenes or the genes can be uh, the tumor suppressor genes. Example of tumor suppressor gene P53. Example of oncogenes you take BCL2 or any other uh, proteins that involve like CDK cyclins all these things that actually help the cell cycle to progress. So these are the oncogenes. So you need to understand and also find out the difference between the different oncogenes and tumor suppressor gene. You also need to understand the cancer cell signaling pathways particularly the P53 pathway and P53 MDM2 crosstalk pathway and how those pathways are related and how those pathways are interrelating and how P MDM2 controls the concentration of P53 and how P53 controls the uh, regulation of itself, concentration of itself in the cell, the role of P53 and all these things in much more clarification. So that's why while in cancer biology stick to more uh, cell signaling aspect of cancer biology and second thing stick more to uh, the name of the genes and third thing stick more to uh, uh, one other thing about the cancer biology and that is regarding the treatment of cancer biology the different drug targets of cancer okay so that's another important thing that you should study now comes down to the immunology immunology is a less economic unit the reason behind it is that immunology is a huge subject if you open Kubi or Abbas or any of these books you will see it's huge content, genuine biology, huge content. So that amount of huge uh, immunology subject is not easy to study in that uh, little span of time. So it will take a long time and the number of questions you can get is 2 to 3, hardly. So it's less economic. So I always tell my students to study suggestively for immunology. And immunology is a very interesting subject. So it, it may hook you, yourself to the immunology for long duration of time. But you need to keep one thing in your mind is that you are preparing for an exam. You know, for understanding immunology, if you read it for years or years, it doesn't matter. You know, it's very good if you study for years. But for this uh, exam, you have limited time, limited scope. So in that case, uh, play suggestively for immunology. And you can see the question for few years, the immunology question, most of them are research paper based questions, review paper based questions. So even though you prepare and practice the basics of immunology from these books, you cannot solve them properly. You may not solve them properly. So keep this in your mind. It's very, very important uh, that, you know, I don't like, if you like immunology, you can study. I'm not telling you to escape, but if you uh, are trying to just uh, escape one or two units, you can try escaping immunology from there. Then we come to the host pathogen interaction. Host pathogen interaction means the common medical microbiology part. From there they ask a lot of questions regarding mostly part B question and sometimes part C questions. That includes uh, the different bacterial growth, growth properties and that also includes uh, the different mechanism of regulating bacterial population and also regarding different diseases and, and diseases associated with bacteria and how bacteria causes those kind of diseases and the list of those and it can be either bacterial disease they may also ask viral disease considering the 
COVID-19 pandemic now, in future times, uh, future times to come, you may expect more question from vi virology in CSI net exam. So keep in uh, keep this thing in your mind. Okay, so that's what you need to do. So in you need four. You can see there are plenty of cell signaling pathway, name of proteins, name of genes, and all these things are there. So the best way to prepare is that you need, you, you can prepare mnemonics to remember the name of the proteins, to remember the name of genes, and uh, also, uh, the, the microbiology is also a subject which mostly rely on remembering on memory based stuff. So you need to remember a lot of things. You need to put a lot of things because immunology, there are a lot of proteins, the name of different interleukins and their functions and so many things. So always keep these things in your mind. Always keep and pre put these things in your mind that for you need for you need to read a lot and remember and recall those things during exam it's very very important to do that okay so that's all about unit 4 if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more videos like that thank you bye